we are very happy w with this work. The rationale is that we know already that continuing suppression of the angiogenesis after first progression metastatic colorectal cancer is beneficial. That this has been demonstrated in the past already. However, the randomized trial that confirmed that keeping anti-angiogenic drugs after first progression uh, excluded patients who had progressed more rapidly on the first-line treatment. We had uh, access to the data from a very large randomized trial, the Velour trial, in which patients who had progressed in first-line treatment were treated with chemotherapy or chemotherapy plus a flibercept, which is an anti-angiogenic uh, medication. And in this trial, there was no limit on the time there was no requirement regarding the time of progression after first line for inclusion in the trial. So we theorized that we could go into data set of the Velour trial and identify patients who had early or late progression after first line. And our objective was going to see if there was a difference in benefit for those patients who had progressed early or late. The nine month timeline was of course subjective uh, we are going to do work into different timelines in the near future and should be able to present at the next ASMO GI meeting some uh, data on different timelines. But the nine month uh, was at that point considered a, a reasonable uh, borderline between early and late progressors.